Tori. So I just saw the Florida Project last night and I'll just start off by saying that it's not really my type of movie because I usually go for movies that are more just like plot and story driven and this was more of a movie that was character driven where you're just kind of seeing the characters go through their lives but overall I still did like the movie. So basically the movie's about this six-year-old girl, she's like the main character, and then her single mom, and they're living in the Orlando area, specifically in Kissimmee, uh, and they're living in just this really rundown, cheap motel, and it's kind of supposed to be like a juxtaposition to the rest of the area, which is Orlando, and it's like the happiest place on earth because it has Disney World and Universal and all these areas, so it's about these characters in like a different part of America that people don't really think about, I guess. Or it's just like very poverty stricken people living in this supposedly happy area. Um, so I did like the movie overall. The ending I feel like was a little weird. I feel like it could have been better and resolved better, but I don't really want to spoil it for you. Um, but overall it was like a really cute movie, I guess because it's like showing life through the perspective of the six-year-old while all these serious adult things are kind of happening. Um, so it was kind of cool to see it filmed that way. Another one of the reasons that I really wanted to watch it was because of how close it was to where I used to live. So the main hotel where they filmed almost all of the movie was only two miles from my old apartment. And I looked it up and it's like, I used to drive by that area a lot and I just never even really noticed it um, which is funny because you'd think I'd notice like this big purple motel but there's also this other scene where they're in these abandoned houses and I used to shop at the Target that was right across the street from those houses and I know they filmed it like while I was still there because when I was living there like the houses were up and they demolished them in the time period that I was there and in the movie they actually set one of them on fire so I'm kind of wondering if that's one of the reasons why they got demolished and so that was cool to see I was also like one scene they go into Magic Kingdom and I was just looking for myself to see if maybe I was there on the day they were filming I didn't see myself and also a lot of the scenes were on like the main highway that that hotel was on so it was cool because I was kind of like looking for my car to see if it was to see if it like appeared in any of the shots and I didn't see it, but it was just kind of cool to see them exploring the area I used to live in. And that was like one of the main driving forces for me seeing the movie. So it's kind of cool like reliving that area of life. So yeah, overall, I did think it was still a pretty good movie. I'd probably rate it like a seven out of 10. Yeah, I think the actors all did a really good job because they're all relatively unknown or just completely unknown except for like one actor, Willem Dafoe. Uh, so yeah, I think it was pretty good. All right, see ya.